Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to add products to your Magento site. Um, and we're going to do this with the new product type we created, and it's going to be added to our new category tutorials, like we did in the last video. So, first off, I don't know if you remember, but if we go into tutorials here, um, here are the products that we added to tutorials before, but these were the pre-made products that are already in here. So let's go through the process of what it's like to create your own product. So if you remember, we actually created our own um, we created our own attribute set. So using this attribute set, we are going to create our product. So under catalog, we'll click manage products. And then once we're in here, all we have to do is click this add product in the top right. And it's going to take us to the screen of what kind of product you want to create. Um, using which attribute set, we'll click this and we're going to go down here and select tutorials. And now let's go to product type. We want this to be a simple product. In the next couple lessons, we'll show you what a grouped product, uh, configurable product, or all of virtual bundle, downloadable, all this stuff is. But for right now, we're just going to start with simple. Simple product, okay. We're going to click continue here. Okay, so every if you notice, every single thing that is required has a red asterisk next to it. So we're going to go ahead and start filling this out. So uh, my product and then SKU, it's whatever your SKU number is. This doesn't really have one, of course, so I'll just use a series of zeros. And um, format, let's just say this is a MOV. It doesn't weigh anything, so I'm gonna put zero. Status is enabled. Um, if you, you wanna make sure the status is enabled, if it's disabled, the product's not going to show up on your front end. Tax class is none. Um, if you did uh, set up your tax classes, you could set this taxable goods or default. Um, we're going to go over the tax and everything like that once we've created some products and once we're getting into the configuration for your um, checkout process. So URL key, you can set up what you want the URL to be, otherwise it's just going to grab it from the name. So I'll just leave it here. I don't need it to be anything special. We want it to be visible within catalog and search. Um, you can have products that are only visible by search, only visible by catalog, or not visible individually if you'd like. Um, this product you can set um, as new from a date to a date. So let's say if you're running um, a sale on new products or let's say you had a, a feature on new products that was like these are the, the latest products, you could have it automatically um, pull in what products that you were using and what ones were set as new and have them be displayed there. We don't have this set up right now so I'm not going to worry about setting this as new. Um, don't worry about it. And then uh, country of manufacturer. This thing's actually kind of unimportant, but um, if you had the products that were manufactured in different countries, of course you would want to be setting this correctly. This is just a tutorial it's set in the United States. It could be, you know, whatever. Okay, so let's go to the next one, prices. In price, we're just going to set this at $5. And so the format is, uh, um, you know, your number dot in your sense. So if you put... Five. I'm not sure if it would accept that. I would just usually go ahead and just try to type out exactly what it is. Um, group price. This is if you, you want to set up a group price or tier pricing. We'll get into that later. Um, as you can see, they're not required, so we're just going to ignore that. We're just going to go over sort of the bare bones basics so you can get a product up and going. And then later in future tutorials, we're going to go over more specifics. So uh, special price, nope. And then you could set a special price date, just like I said about the new product date. Um, okay, all this other stuff, we're just going to leave blank. Meta information. Well, you know, I, I would typically take the time to, you know, create meta information. However, this doesn't, you know, this product's fake, so I'm not really going to spend too much time. So I'm just going to have something here. It's actually not even required, but something's better than nothing. All right, now I'm going to grab a product. I'm actually gonna, just going to grab a screenshot real quick. There we go. And let's browse. See on our desktop is where I save this image. So once this loads, okay, screenshot. I'm gonna upload this. So to do this image, is, as you can see, I clicked browse, then I clicked upload, and now here's my image. If you hover over it, it'll show what your image actually is. So a label, we're just gonna call this um, my tut. Whatever your product is, you know, the label you can usually just use this as your um, the product title. 
and then if now if we were to just save this or whatever um, it actually wouldn't set your image as being anything. So this is something you want to make sure you do. Um, if you notice, there's these three columns here. There's thumbnail, small image, and base image. Make sure that these are all set. If you only have one image, make sure these are all set to that image. Um, if you have multiple images, you can set them individually to the thumbnail, the small image, and the base image. Okay, also if you want to exclude it, let's say you want to keep an image uploaded, uh, but you don't want it, you maybe you want it to be like the small image, but you don't want it to show up under that product's images, you can exclude it. If you want to remove it, you check remove. When you click save, it will be gone. Okay, so description, same thing. I would normally take the time to write up some description. Um, but this, I'm just going to put some, you know, blank text here. Okay, and you can also have this a WYSIWYG if that's what your clients are interested in. Okay, now design. This is if you want this product page to have a custom design. So as you can see, I have these custom designs that are sort of installed with the sample data, but I'm going to ignore these, and we're not going to do any sort of custom design. So reoccurring profile, nope. Uh, gift options, nope. Okay, so for inventory, if you have uh, managed stock checked uh, in your configuration settings, which we do, um, you're going to have to have a quantity set here. If you leave this at zero, it's not going to show up. So let's have one, let's say 10,000 of these. We're actually not going to run out. Um, and then we want the stock availability also set to in stock. Both of these need to be set or else your products are not going to show up. Okay, now in websites, we want this to show up in the main store. Perfect. If you had multiple stores, you'd be able to uh, determine or have products show up in different stores. So categories, we want this to be under tutorials. And then we'll just throw this under Magenta Tutorial so we have one there. Related products. Uh, we don't have any related products right now. So uh, in the future, when we do, we can just give a check here and it will add those as related products. Actually, let's select a couple of them just so you can see how that works. Um, same with upsells and cross-sells, whatever. We'll just select a bunch here. Okay, and custom options. We don't have anything, so we don't need to add anything. Like I said, this is just really a bare-bones product to get us up and running. So let's click Save. And after you click Save, it takes you back to your product screen, and your new product with its uh, ID is incremented by one. Here's my product. It'll say, okay, it's available in catalog search. It's enabled on the main website. And here's the SKU number. Here's the price. Everything you want to know about it immediately accessible. If you actually click this, it takes you right to the edit screen. So you don't have to go over here and click edit. You can just click right here. So let's go ahead and refresh this page here and we should new see our new product. Okay, so if you did this correctly, uh, you will see my product is right here. We click on this and here's your product. It's in here. Uh, your view, your um, your Zoom is working. You can add it to your cart, wish list, all this other stuff, and uh, you can add tags to it. It's all all working. If we add it to our cart, you can see working perfectly. Great. So we now have a new product. Um, like I said, if you're having issues, make sure that it's your status is enabled. Make sure you have stock if you're monitoring stock. Make sure it's visible in catalog and search and make sure you have it set to being in stock. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on the video or let us know what you're thinking. You can hit us up at Twitter, LevelUpTuts. And uh, once again, this is Scott, and thanks for watching. Bye.